One of the biggest frustrations about living with diabetes, and you will hear this frequently from people with diabetes, is that we are so sick of talking about numbers. We're sick of being graded by our A1C or, you know, what's your blood pressure, what's your weight, or, and also all those sorts of things. So it's with great irony that I'm starting my talk with a number, and that number is 121. And I love this number, and I throw it around quite a lot, because this is the number of diabetes-related decisions a person with diabetes has to make every single day. So that's on top of the decisions about what we want to eat for breakfast because it's what we feel like eating for breakfast rather than what our blood sugar is doing at that particular time of day. Uh, will I wear these boots or those boots? What colour skirt will I wear? All of those decisions that everybody else has to make, we get to make an extra 121 of them that are just diabetes related. There is a lot going on in our Heads. This is by um, a, a woman in the States who is a, a cartoonist, a designer. Um, her name's Heidi Merritt. She has type 1 and she drew this, which was just to represent exactly what is going on in the head of a person with diabetes at any one time. There is a lot happening there. So the reason that I love Keep Sight, and I think it is such a great thing, is it because it's this. It's the first step towards a diabetes PA. So I have a job, I work at Diabetes Australia, um, and I am also a mum. I've got a very beautiful 14, nearly 15 year old daughter. Uh, I, have, I am a wife, my partner is a jazz musician, so I love going and hearing him play. I'm a friend of wonderful other, you know, got great friends. Um, I've got a really, really busy life. But I have another full-time job, and that other full-time job is living with type one diabetes. I've been doing this now for just over 21 years. And I would really love somebody to do some of the admin for me. That admin stuff is boring. Diabetes is boring to begin with, but all the other admin stuff on top of it is really boring. And part of that is making sure that we remember things like, have we had our, our, our screening done? Have we had that done? And so to think that we now have a recall and reminder system that is taking one of those tasks away from us is actually a huge help. And that's why I'm just such a huge fan of this. I'm also a huge fan of KeepSight because it is literally a two-minute registration. I keep saying that to people, have you registered yet? Find two minutes or I'll do it for you right now. It takes no time at all. And with that, it's just one of those things that's going to actually help us do, you know, need to do one less thing to living with diabetes. There's actually nothing bad about this. I kind of, you know, have thought, okay, what's the negative side to keep sight? And I really honestly can't see anything. Um, I'm just hopeful that, you know, down the track we're going to have that that diabetes PA being able to do a lot more for us than this, but this is such a brilliant first step. So as health professionals, I would really encourage you to tell the message of why Keep Sight is actually just one of those things that's going to help make life easier. And I don't know anybody living with type one diabetes who wouldn't want that.